86,400. How many of y'all know the significance of that number? In today's video, we're gonna talk about that number and talk about a move your body challenge for August. I'm also gonna share with you some news I got from the doctor as well. So if you wanna hear all that, then stay with me. So welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I am following the WW program, but on my channel I share points for all three programs and I also share calories, but it's really not narrowed down to just one specific program. Uh, my channel really is more about meal planning and meal prepping, so I just happen to share what I do using WW. So I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to do some type of move your body challenge, and many of you said that you wanted to do that, so I want to talk about that as well. But I want to give an update about my doctor's appointment. So I had a follow-up doctor's appointment this morning. This was not my GI doctor. A lot of you know I have a GI doctor that's completely separate. This was a follow-up from my physical and all my lab work. So in the beginning of this month, I was on a three week vacation and I also prior to that was going through an ulcerative colitis flare. I'm happy to report that as of right now, I'm pretty much out of the flare. I've been able to tolerate fruits and vegetables. So I feel like I'm doing good, getting back to where I need to be. I kind of ditched my scale months ago because I really wanted to focus on different numbers. I wanted to focus on more like the you know my lab work and I wanted to focus on my sleep and getting the steps and the activity that I need and not so much that scale my sleep my steps everything has improved and when I went to my follow-up appointment today with the doctor she literally said when she walked in I'm actually kind of embarrassed to have had you come back for this your lab work is the best it's ever been so my cholesterol, we've been working on my cholesterol because it uh, two years ago, it was high, even with me eating a little bit better two years ago. And she was talking about putting me on medication, but now it is completely down. Now it's good. There's only one number that I still have to work on, but she didn't even mention that. She's like, that's so borderline that you don't even have to work, worry about it. So it's my good cholesterol and my bad cholesterol that has improved. My triglycerides are awesome. So I am so happy and it motivated me so much. I am just really motivated and I think what I'm probably gonna do is now that I've got been working on those numbers, now I do need to face the scale and I think what I'm gonna do is start weighing in again once a month. The good thing is with my meal prepping and everything that I do throughout the week, that really keeps me on track and I don't necessarily have to focus on, you know, all the tracking and everything. But unfortunately, my nighttime snacking, I still need to reel in sometimes. I seem to be grabbing for peanuts and things like that that are very easy to overeat on. So I need to work on that. So I'm just really super happy. So now let's talk about that 86,400 number and the significance of that. So if you know what that number means, put it in the comments down below. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds. Go ahead and put your comments and let me know if you know what that number is. So for those of you who don't know what that number is, before I let you know what it is, I kinda wanna give you a little, I don't know what the word is, analogy? I don't know if that's the right word. For you teachers, let me know if that word was right. So what I want you to do is close your eyes. Close your eyes right now and visualize in front of you that you have a big bowl with $86,400 in it. That bowl, picture that bowl, $86,400 are in there. So now, what if I told you that if you parted with just $1,800 of that, so literally a little over 2%, that's it, $1,800 you had to take out of that pot, and that $1,800 is going to help you to decrease your risk of heart disease, your risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, possibly help you lose weight, all, all that stuff, all that good health stuff. If I told you that just it would, that's all it would cost, $1,800 out of that $86,400. So you part with $1,800 and you can spend the rest of that money 
in the day. Because guess what? Tomorrow, you're gonna get another $86,400. And you can do it again. Dip, part with $1,800 and the rest you get to spend however you want it. And this will go on every day. It's a recurring thing that will go on every day. Would you be willing to do that? If your answer is yes, here's the significance of the 86,400. That is how many seconds are in a day. Every single day, 24 hours has 86,400 seconds in a day. The American Heart Association suggests that we get 30 minutes of activity every single day to decrease the risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, stroke, all that stuff which is the equivalent of 1,800 seconds. So that is the significance of that number. And it seems like such a small amount when you put it into seconds like that. When I first heard this, it really took me by surprise because I have always used the excuse that I just don't have enough time in a day to do exercise. And no, it's just that I'm not making it a priority. I have to make it a priority. I am in no way a medical professional or anything like that. So before doing any type of exercise or any type of challenges, make sure to seek the advice of your healthcare um, professional. So I'm not advising or anything like that. <laughs> I'm just putting something out there for suggestions of ways to move your body. But please talk to your doctor before you do any type of exercise. I'm sorry if it, it's starting to storm out there. So I'm sorry if this is a little bit dark. I'm using the natural light right now. So I've made, been making a lot of changes. When I am home teleworking, I am standing now pretty much the entire time. I try to march in place while I'm working, but sometimes I find that I just, I can't type and look up cases and things like that. I can't do all that and, and walk at the same time. I find that I end up just standing there. So by the end of the day, my feet are hurting because I've literally stood in one place. But I've been making changes like that. So what I'd like to do is just a two week challenge to start. And I'm not gonna do anything official where you necessarily have to report in. However, if you wanna report in and let me know every week how you're doing, just come back to this video, save this video, come back and put it in the comments how you're doing uh, so that you have a place to do that. I am looking into a couple options for down the road because I wanna start doing some type of challenges. I have, I'm actually participating in a step bet challenge right now. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. Basically you bet on on yourself and then you just win the money back that you've bet on plus part of the pool that's left. So basically you get your money back as long as you completed your, your challenge and then you split the pot of what's left from people who didn't complete the challenge. I'm actually doing my very first one of those right now. So once I kind of get the gist of it and understand how I can do my own, I will let you know. But if anybody wants to look into that, it's just under step, bet. I just Googled it under step bet. And you can use, I think uh, there's a lot of different fitness trackers that you can use for that. So what I'd like to ask you to do is take a look at what your normal activity is right now, whether it's steps or what you normally do, and just try and increase it. If you're doing steps, try to increase your steps by just 5% every week or two. And for those of you like me that have that all or nothing mentality, uh, I always think, well, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it 150%, but then it's like, if I let one thing slide, then I kind of sometimes let other things slide. I have improved on that. I've been doing real good, especially since I've been focusing on those other numbers. I've really improved in that area. So just don't let that all or nothing mentality stop you from achieving your goals. So just do something more than what you're currently doing. So if you go to work or if you go to, to the store, park far away, um, get a workout buddy, a walking buddy. When you were a teenager, did you ever dance around in your room? Like turn on the music and dance around in your room? I would think probably most teenage girls did that. Guess what? We can do that as we get older too. One of the things I love doing when I'm cleaning my house, I always put music on. And usually it's like classic rock that I play while I'm cleaning. And so something with a higher tempo and do some dancing while you're cleaning. You can walk around with a mop. Who cares what you look like? Don't worry about what you look like. I used to sit there and think, well, I'm gonna look like an idiot sitting here dancing around my house. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Who cares what you look like dancing around your house? So 
stop your cleaning for a few minutes and break out and dance. Do something to just get your body moving or just as you're mopping, kind of go with the tempo. Make sure to listen to something that has like a higher tempo to it. So it's not, you know, like slow motion music or something like that. That's an option. If you have the means to invest in a some type of fitness coach or something like that, that's an option. Uh, but you don't. it doesn't have to cost you money to move your body. You can move your body without going to the gym, without investing in a fitness coach or anything like that. You can get some very cheap weights if you want. And if you don't have weights, use some uh, soda bottles or some. Grab, go to your pantry, grab some canned items and use those as weights. Just be very careful. If you have children or grandchildren, get out and play with them. Uh, you know, instead of watching them on the playground, join them on the playground if you can. If you're able to go down that slide, go down the slide. If you have meetings, do walking meetings. A lot of people are doing meetings nowadays by Zoom. So if they don't mind you standing up and walking in place, or you can always just put, take your video off if you're allowed to do that. I know for some meetings I can have my video off and some of them it's face to face and we need to be talking to each other. So you can't necessarily always do the standing and walking in place, but if you can, if you can do a Zoom meeting while walking in place, do that. That is something that you definitely could do. If you're on your phone, walk around your house while you're talking on your phone. If you're you know, texting or if you're just scrolling through Facebook or scrolling through Instagram or watching a YouTube video, you can be walking around and getting some activity while you're doing that as well. And finally, remember that the 30 minutes of suggested activity that you need in a day can be broken up. You can do it in five or 10 minute intervals. So just keep that in mind. Go for a 10 minute walk three times a day and you've got your 30 minutes in. But you wanna to try to do something that increases your heart rate, um, that's a little bit brisk. I would also mention that if you're just starting out with activity, increase slow, start slow. Don't go for the gusto and go from literally no activity to trying to be strenuous, lifting these crazy weights. Don't do anything like that. Always start slow. Just increase something very little. You know, if you get, look at your steps and you determine that you get so many steps in a week, just increase it by like 500 that week. Or when you're walking, just walk a little bit faster, just little tiny changes. And over time, each week, as you slowly increase, you're gonna notice a difference in how you feel. You're gonna notice a difference in your breathing. Uh, I know for me, that's like the biggest thing is I can feel that I'm healthier. Like each week that I continue to walk more and more, I can just feel it improving in my body. And I have no doubt that that's what improved my lab work. I have just really been and focusing on the good numbers to focus on. And I'm just really very motivated. So I hope you all are motivated with me and I really wanna do this. So what I'm suggesting we do is kinda of like a two week challenge starting Sunday, August 1st is when I'm gonna start mine. That's when I'm gonna take a look at all my numbers and I'm gonna see what I wanna to do to bump things up for me and improve things. I've been averaging probably about 11,000 steps a day right now. I've really been doing well. And another thing that you can do and that I sometimes do is instead of seven days a week, just do it in six, six days and then take a rest day. So a lot of times what I'll do is I will look, like if my goal is 10,000 steps a day, then that means in a week I should have 70,000 steps. But if I get those 70,000 steps in in six days, then I take a rest day. I don't worry about how many steps. I actually, I still wear my Fitbit, but I just don't focus and worry about did I get my 10,000 steps in that day because I did it in the six days. So that's something that you can do as well. You don't necessarily have to get it all in seven days. So in fact, if you're just starting out, maybe that's a good way to start is just focus on five or six days and then have the one or two rest days. So that is what I'm putting out there to be our challenge. Just try to do something a little more. And like I said, we're going to just do like a two week thing starting August 1st. And then after that, after the two weeks, I'm probably in that time going to try to do some research and see how we can check in with each other. So let me know in the comments if you have suggestions. What I want is kind of like a place where we can all check in with each other, support each other, you know, comment back and forth to each other. I'll look into that, but let me know if you have suggestions for that. So in the comments below, let me know if you're willing to spend that $1,800 out of that $86,400 that you have each day. 
in the form of seconds, not dollars. Also, before I sign off, I wanna let you know that the Q&A video, the Q&A answer video I said I would have out by August sometime, I'm hoping to finish that up today. I'm having to do it in a two-part because there were so many questions. So I'm hoping to finish that up today and that hopefully should be out like the first week of August. I'm hoping that I can have it up the first week of August sometime. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, put in the comments and let me know if you are ready to move your body. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. If only you could see. Don't you know that you're beautiful?